city despite injunctions to the contrary. Order is not yet restored, and there is not a single merchant engaging in legitimate trade. The only articles for sale are stolen goods. Soldiers strip the poor creatures living in underground cellars of what little they've left. Bands of thieves roam the streets, among whom may be numbered even members of the Imperial Guard. Not even army stores are excluded from the pillaging. Supplies, which were difficult to obtain when entering Moscow, have now virtually disappeared. Attempts to forage in the richer regions south of the city are met by harassment from bands of Cossacks and other forms of guerrilla activity. Enough. Enough. I appreciate all that you say. But to leave the city now would be an admission of defeat. Some of us think that to stay any longer would be to invite it. We may already have stayed too long. How can that be? Are you defeated if you occupy the capital of your enemy? If that were the case, we shouldn't have won a battle these last 15 years. This is different. Different, different, different. That's all I hear. Sire. What are the advantages to be gained by staying here? I can make peace here, on my terms. What chance have we of making peace once we evacuate the city? I don't think Alexander will make peace. You'll reply to my letter. I'm certain of it. It's already 20 days since Lori Storm went with the letter. I don't think the Tsar has the slightest intention of answering it. He's, he's keeping us dangling on a hook, waiting for it. Let us, for God's sake, move out for military reasons or stay for military reasons. But let's forget about Alexander and concentrate on supplies. I just don't know. I just don't know. There is a chance here of a blunder of immense proportions. And it hardly reminds you what the journey back will be like. You may be right. There is the alternative. What's that? We stay. Kill the remainder of the horses and salt them down. Turn Moscow into an entrenched camp. Occupy it for winter quarters. Now there's the Lions Council. That I like better than all your reports. And Paris, sire? Paris? Can you leave it for six months to its own devices? You imagine plots. It's happened before. Six months is a long time to be away from the capital. There's truth in that, Dabu. There's more when you think of it. We have fixed ourselves here for so long a period, we run the risk that the base of our operations in Lithuania and the Grand Duchy of Warsaw may be invaded. To say nothing of our lines of communication. Mm. No, I appreciate your suggestion, but I must reject it. Tomasov's army could easily be augmented to 100,000 men and make themselves masters of Warsaw and Vilna. And to what do we trust to resist then? The dubious faith of the Austrians. Poisonous Prussians. Then do we move out, sir? This is enough. This is already too much. Mura has suffered a defeat at Tarantino. He has lost his cannon, his cavalry, and 2,000 men killed. I have dallied here too long.
Have you, Jane, take his army corps and march at once to the support of Prince Murat. And take all the cannon he can use. Borrow from the other corps if necessary. Mortier will be left as rear guard of Kremlin. Dabu, Bertier. Get the army on the move. Start marching at once. For where, sir? Isn't good too south of Kaluga? Let us march on Kaluga then. And God help those who shall oppose us. It's wheels off. The moon out of the way! They're trying their best. Come on, get them moving. Put on your feet, everybody outside. Come on. We're going to wait about all day. No, no, Monsieur Pierre, I can't move. I'm too sick. Dear God, I shall die, I know. Please, Monsieur Pierre, ask them to let me stay. Come on, stir yourself. Get moving. Up, they up. won't let him stay. Oh, this man, he's very sick. Please, come in and leave him. Yeah. No, I'm sorry, he walks like the rest Get him on his feet. No, no, come on, don't move. waste your strength. Can't you no, see no, he's on, dying? You Look, won't... don't burden yourself. Come on, stand up. different they are. Yesterday he could have been one of us. Yes. I've seen that look on their faces before. It comes over them when they know they're doing something they ought not to. Where do you think they'll take us? As far as we can push these carts. Then. Come on, on your feet. Get up, get up. You must do it. Hold on to the cart and don't push.
They fought each other, Steel. They fell, they fell. Don't you understand? They fell. This cart belongs to Colonel Plontier. If anything's lost, I'll have you shot. Now put it back. Leave him and get back to He's work. ill, don't you understand? He's ill. Leave him! He's ill! I go on! How far have we come, do you think? About 80 miles, I should think. Is that all? We must have lost a third of the prisoners already. <sighs> drink your soup. Uh, I don't feel like if it. If you keep the cold up, drink it. You, you drink it. Do you know where we are? Borodino. I've just seen a drum and sword. Uh, oh. There must be 20,000 bodies in these fields. That's incredible. Could have thought of the idea of returning on the same wasted route that you came on. Oh, it's incredible. And that's what they call military genius. <laughs> What's the matter with you? Eh? Oh, I'm all right, sir. It's just a little touch of the fever that I had in the hospital. It's got colder. Bless you, sir. 
I ain't gonna die yet. Come on, it's better walking than sitting here. Come on, you feel better moving. Don't leave me! Don't leave me, please! Carry me! Put me in the cart, please, before they see me! I can't walk! I Come on, your feet, get moving! Come on, stand up, man! Move yourself! Move! Come on, get these cars moving! Get those cars moving! Come on, push! Fine, Joe, there's a lot of it. How many soldiers do you reckon, Oliver? Oh, about six or seven hundred. Oh, I put it higher than that. And there were twelve. They've been coming by for nearly half an hour. Well, makes no difference. My lot and your lot combined, we can take them. Oh, too whiskey, oh boy. They're not in good shape, but they can still fire a musket. Besides, there may be others following. Well, let's get ourselves a prisoner and find out. Putting it off, some other group will spot it and take it. Don't I know that? I'm not attacking till I know who they are and how many. Someone's coming. Huh? Colonel Denisov? Yes? From General Holst. Oh, bother. Another request to join forces, I suppose. Yes, I believe it is, sir. Yeah. Don't I know you? Yes, sir. Bet your Rostov at your service. Petya! You idiot! Why didn't you say it was you? Mihal, this is the brother of my best friend. But you've grown, dear boy. How could anyone recognize you? What are you doing here? I'm with General Holst. When I heard you wanted to send someone to your detachment, I begged to be allowed the privilege. <laughs> well done, oh boy. Well, now, the fact is we don't want your General Holst because he's a bit of an idiot. Also, we're going to take that baggage train tomorrow. Oh, could I stay? Oh, please, I've been in action. What about your orders? He didn't say anything about returning. All right, splendid. <laughs> Come and get some food. Come on. <laughs> <laughs>
and so the whole family got out of Moscow. Only just. Mama made them all wait for me, and she could have saved herself the trouble because I rejoined the regiment and it was transferred up here. Oh, come on. Then Papa didn't organise the arrival of the carts properly. Oh. <laughs> that sounds just like your family, Petya. Mihail, they're the most charming people in Moscow. What do you say, Vasily Fyodorovich? It won't matter me staying another day, will it? I suppose not. And you'll let me join the attack with you? No, I, I, I didn't say anything about that. Oh, Petra. please, Vasily. Well, we'll talk about it later. Mihail, is it a knife you want? Here, use this one. That's a pretty knife, sir. Oh, do you mm. like it? You can keep it. Oh, I couldn't do that, sir. Oh, please, I've got another one. Heavens, I quite forgot. I brought some wonderful raisins with me. You did? Where's my pack? Oh, good. Oh, Here well it is. Ten pounds I brought. Look, there's enough for everyone. A dessert. Hey. It's just what we need. That's all we've got a damn drummer boy. And he knows nothing. What happened to the others? We're forced to hard we had to kill them. At last. Well, we should just have to go into their camp and take a look around. Exactly. We've got some French uniform. Anyone care to go with me? I'll go. Oh, no, you will not. Who's this? It's uh, Nikolai Wostop's young brother. Well, now. Fancy that. Well, why not let him come? No, I tell you, I'm responsible for him. And he doesn't belong to us. Really, Vasily? Dash it, you've no right to treat me like a child. I'm an officer in the army. And I've been in action. Well, let's settle then. Pew. Outside. There's no need for that. A bit squeamish, aren't you? Prisoners should be sent to the city. How many arrive? This is my camp, Dolohov, not yours. Rostov, you speak French? Of course. Good. We'll go when it's dark. There they are. How do we get in? They have sentries patrolling, won't they? Can't patrol every inch of it. Come on. Remember, speak French. He's dying, isn't he? Platon Karataev is dying. That's why you moved away from him. If you're afraid. His very proximity worries you as if his fate is an infection which can be caught. Has your experience then made you more callous? No. More resigned. You've learned simply that there is nothing in the world to be dreaded that there is a limit to suffering and a limit to freedom and the limits are not very far away. Yes, you've learned that now. Yes, and from him. Platon Karataya. Bonjour, messieurs. Who are you? Captain Robert of the Sixth Lancers. We're looking for our colonel, Colonel Gerard. 
Never heard of him. We got separated from our regiment in a brawl with some Cossacks. What regiment is this? We're the second of the line. Oh, well, uh, we're cavalry. There's no point in attaching ourselves to you. Are there any uh, cavalry regiments here? Well, you're not a very friendly lot, are you? What regiment did you say you were from? Sixth Lancers. I thought they were with Ney in the rear guard. Well, you thought wrong, didn't you? Have you got any food? <laughs> <laughs> You'll not get your supper here, if that's what you're after. Uh -huh. You didn't say if there are any cavalry regiments here. No. Pity. You need one. All these Cossacks mopping up the stragglers. Still, I don't suppose they'd attack a unit of this size, would they? You must have what? A thousand men here. Where's your commanding officer? Well, uh, we'll inquire further on. Somebody's sure to know where the sixth is. Good night, messieurs. Um, thank you for your hospitality. More prisoners. That's the third lot we've seen. I've got quite a lot of stuff here. I've got all those carts. Are we going back now? Not afraid, are you? Certainly not. Right. We'll walk the length of the camp and get a good impression of how many troops there are. Can't you sleep? Too cold to sleep. Why don't you go over to the fire and warm yourself? No, I'll just lie here. How do you feel? All right. Grumble about sickness and God won't grant you deaths. I think I got frostbite. Thank God. I was beginning to get worried. About me? Oh, about him. What did you find out? There's about a thousand men there. And, uh, 150 prisoners? Mm -hmm. Any cavalry in here? None. With the old lot in mind, we number about 400. Should be enough if we take them in the dark. Where are they now? In a wood about eight miles away. It's too late now. It'll have to be tomorrow night. Good. Better you get some sleep. I'm not tired. Oh, do shut up, old lad. Get some rest. But you'll let me join the attack tomorrow. Yes, provided you do as you're told. Yes, all right. Thank you. Thank you. It's still two to one. What sort of shape are they in? Come on, get these bastards moving! Come on, get them in the line! Use your feet, let's get a movie! Come on, move yourself! We've got to get out of here! Come on, 
get these bastards moving! Come on, move on, put your backs into it! Situations unparalleled. I've never seen anything like it. Look, you must leave and return to Paris. I will not leave the army. There is no army. There is always an army while I am here. The armies of Victor and Oudinot are still intact. Now there's 50,000 troops. Well, they're miles away. Any chance of uniting with them is small. Nevertheless, Davo has a point. We may yet extricate ourselves from this with honor. If you remain, they'll take you prisoner. We should have taken every man we had and forced our way through at Kaluka. We should have risked all. I knew we should have risked all. Now we have to limp back over the same route as we came. Kutuzov outmaneuvered us. Maneuvering is all that general seems prepared to do. He withdrew from a position my marshals had advised me was impregnable. Is that what you call outmaneuvering? I should have followed my own counsel. the army to its fate. Is that an action you consider worthy of your emperor? Sire, I doubt if there are more than 20,000 men fighting effectively. The rest are a rabble. What is it to command? It's worse than a rabble. They, they murder each other for a, for a handful of flour. I beg you, return to Paris. Leave, sire. Leave. Save yourself. Leave Prince Murat in command and go. Without you, even Paris will not be secure when news of this reaches them. Clear our fog in a fire. They'll be far enough where you're going. What are you looking at? Ruskies. Damn nuisance. Hey, Vincent? Better than pulling your own cart, isn't it? I suppose so. A lot of animals, that's all that fit for. Everything changes, to and fro. And that movement is God. And while there is life, there is joy. To live is to love God. 
and more difficult and more blessed is to love this life and one's sufferings. Ah, yes. Even in one's undeserved sufferings. Platon Karataev, he knew it all his life. How is it that I never knew until now? Just as I'm about to die, as undoubtedly I shall die very, very soon. So they no longer feed us. They no longer feed us. Dolohov should be there by now. We'll wait a few more minutes. Just to make sure the West get into position. Vasily Dimitrich, you'll give me some sort of assignment or other, won't you? Please? One thing I beg of you. In the name of your dear mother, stay by my side when we go in. Be with you all. We will meet again in Paris. 